So I had a request previously from a subscriber at CV about how to refix this leatherette piece back on between the steering wheel column and the dashboard. So I thought today we'd have a look at it. So I'm not sure how it comes away, but I think probably to give us as much working room as possible, what I'll do is just release the steering wheel column just there and hopefully pull the steering wheel all the way out and push it down as far as possible, which should really open that up. I think I'll fix it back in now, stop it moving around while we're working on it. I'm guessing that we're probably gonna to need to remove this piece of the steering column. So what I'm gonna do is just remove this piece of trim, just pulling my finger in there, pushing it down, just the same as we did when we did the connecting to the OBD board. Simple as that, there we go. Underneath the steering wheel, just so you can see where we are. We've just got two fixings in here. They're uh, number three Allen key. So I'm just gonna remove this and hopefully this piece should come away. So with those two fixings out, I'm just going to squeeze it in and it comes away from this side first there's one little clip there we can see that one and then as it just comes down over the other side we've got that locating lug in now so we just pull it out kind of slightly sideways further underneath there's then another couple of elements fixings there if i can get that up for the camera there we go so we're just going to get again it's number three allen screw in there so we're just going to remove those now so now with those four fixings removed, I'm guessing whether there must just be a line of clips or something that holds this bottom section onto this top section, because we can see a seam all the way along and all the way around the other side. So let's see if we can remove that now. Okay, with this first side unclipped, we can see just inside there, we kind of got just that one main clip there, which was like a you can just see the kind of the barb in it, which is holding it together. And there's another one up there. So we just use one of these panel removal tools, just basically to slide it in there and just kind of pry it up. And that one pulled that away. So next up, just around this side, what we've been able to do is just get that panel removal tool in there. We can just see there's kind of like a pin in there, which has come away quite nicely. So you just see if I can get the focus on that bit there, maybe zoom in. You just see that kind of fixed into there. That's kind of released around the bottom here. So I'm guessing now what we've got is just the same sort of clip that we had on this side, like this one here. Hopefully, it's just gonna be over here. So I'll just get a panel, <laughs> no need to get a panel removal tool. Just gave it a little pull, and that's the whole piece now just coming away in my hand. Back around this side now, we can see we've got this extra bit that just goes over to cruise control. So I'm just gonna take that off, and obviously, you know, maybe before that's going back on, it's gonna be cleaned up as well. So back up on the top, what we can do now is maybe lift it up slightly. I'm not sure whether or not that's gonna clear those points there. But I'm just gonna see if I can lift it up ever a little bit more, just a bit more. Obviously it's not gonna come up over this arm here because it's all the way through it, but we might be able to kind of lift it up a little bit just so that we can get to the underneath. Okay, so not being able to pull it up very much, what we've been able to do is just kind of look underneath. You can see underneath there, just about those kind of one, two, three, four fixings that are right in there. And they seem to be just, if I come over to this side, we can get a better idea. Let's see if I can get the camera in the right place of exactly what they're like. So there seems to be the actual kind of leather edge stuff is sewn into this plastic kind of um, seam. This kind of white bit here is all plastic. So you can just pull that way out of this corner. Really difficult to do with one hand, really. I think it's kind of half velcro on as well. There we go. That's off of that corner. And then once you've got that, you can just pop it off of those fixings. And then I'm guessing it's going to come away Sorry for the camera angles, it's terrible. I'm guessing it's just gonna come away. You'll be able to do that all the way along. And then hopefully, yeah, that will allow us to get that leatherette bit kind of released from here. And then what we'll do is look at this end closer underneath the dials. Now, in actual fact, what I've been able to do, just releasing those, all of those clips all the way around, there's one more on this side. And what that's done is free this kind of piece of plastic up right to the point where it will actually slide off the wiper stalk and now we can remove it and obviously we can give that a good clean up as well. Okay, to get some extra visibility and some maneuverability for this piece where it fixes in underneath here, what I'm gonna do is just try and release these, try and remove them out a little bit. So I'm just gonna pop off this fix in for this kind of uh, panel piece here. And the same again, I'm just gonna take off this whole panel piece here because I know there's a fix in behind here and over that side there. Okay, so I've got that panel piece removed and that switch set removed out. We can just see we've got one fix in there and the other one over the other side just in there, which are both T25s. So I'll just get those out and then we'll look to release this and pull this one forward. Okay, so with those two fixings out, I think all that's left is that I think it's just a couple of clips at the top and a couple of clips at the bottom and just kind of locating kind of 
wedging clips pin, shall we say, so there's nothing too tricky about them. The whole thing should just pull forward or so. So I'm just gonna try and pull the top first and then pull the bottom. There we go, and that's the assembly kind of half away as such. So I can just pull that forward and then we should be able to have a look underneath and see what's going on with this leatherette piece. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get the best camera angle I can here, but I'm not sure kind of you can see where, where we are. We've got this kind of point here, which seems to be a clip, and then the same over the other side, there's another clip there. And if we can see kind of, you can see obviously the front of the doll there, I think it's the, the left-hand one, behind where it clips in, you can just about see that clip just in there, which hopefully, if I can do it single-handedly, I can see it from where I'm looking. If I just kind of pull it down, he says, we should be able to just release that clip. It's difficult to do something like that. You can see it kind of coming down there slightly. But that's going to come away, hopefully, and then just, it should allow the assembly to come away. I think it's a bit difficult to do one-handed, so I'm just going to put the camera down and then try and get it off, and then we'll have a look. Yeah, okay, so I was able to get that one off, kind of as I did it, the six pins that go through those, it six, one, two, however many it is there. Um, kind of you just pull it forward and it comes away and then the same one again with that, just pull that clip away. And then what we've got now is this whole leatherette piece, which comes away. So we've got therefore our leatherette bit there, which if it was split, torn, cracked, or for whatever reason come off, just as um, subscriber at CBs seems to have done, then we'll be able to take it away, either get a new one, and uh, yeah, go and look to install the new one. Looking at the back of the dial unit itself, obviously we've just got the one plug there. So if we had a fault um, where, I don't know, some of the LEDs are gone or something like that, or um, you wanted to change them for a different color, we'll be able to take that off, take the unit out, send them away, and go and get that refurbed or install a new one back in there as well. So obviously while all these bits are off, you know me, I'm gonna take the opportunity, give this a real good clean, get some of the polish on there, give this a clean up, Give the dials a clean up as well, whether it's just on the top or wherever it might be. Just something else that's maybe worth noting as well. I had a subscriber say that he had some dirt or some fluff or an old bug or something that was stuck behind the dials. So as much as the front of the lenses were kind of clear, it, there was still stuff behind them. So he was kind of wondering how he might be able to do that. So on the back of the panels, you've just got kind of these clips that you can just go all the way around they just kind of locate into these points here so you just work your way all the way around with it removed and you can just basically take that whole front piece off from here we'll be able to take out any debris dirt or bugs or whatever it might be that's in there give that a clean up obviously make sure that we don't do anything to damage it same with the front here if there's anything left on the front here but obviously this is really crystal clear on my one so i'm going to leave it alone uh, and then you'd be able to put it back together and get any dirt or debris out of there whatever it might have been and then you should be in a much better place okay so now we've got all a bit cleaner what i'm going to do is just start by getting this leatherette piece back on so i'm just going to offer it up and just get these clips back on so whether i'll be able to do it up here i shouldn't really be doing it on the dashboard because i don't want to scratch the dashboard i'll just get those locating pins in first and then these little clips i think i'm going to take it off the dashboard and then we'll just get this on and then next up i'll just come back around here a little bit just going to get the plug back on for the dials uh, i took it off just so that we could give them a clean out i think it only goes back on one way so we'll just look at what way that is it gets the other way around this way so that just offers in now and then similar kind of plug as other ones we've seen previously it just clips back over and clicks back in and that holds it in place like that so now i'm just going to turn the dials up the right way Bring the leatherette piece forward. And just as a quick kind of tip for getting that bottom end back in, just down here and across here on the other side, where the leatherette piece has got kind of that white plastic bit on, just kind of fold that end, kind of push them in from the sides and that'll allow that bottom bit to go in. And at the back where the cable loom goes in, it's kind of a recess, just make sure that that's folded over and goes on. So now it should go clunk click back into place there we go so i'll just get these two fixings on and that's that back together next up going back in reverse order is going to be kind of this top mount piece which goes over this way we've got these little kind of fixing points here that need to go on 
but not forgetting obviously that we need to get it over the wiper stalk first through this hole. So I'm just going to just have a shot, slide that back over the top there, which makes it a little more difficult to get the locating lugs on. But we'll just get that on now, and then we've just got these six points to go on, so I'll just get them on now. The next piece is this cruise control panel point here, so that just goes over the cruise control stalk and pushes into place. I can see behind the camera, there's just a couple of clips there. You can see kind of that clip and that clip there. There we go. Now that's ready just for the bottom bit to go on. I've just noticed there's a bit of dust here that we didn't get, so I'll take it off again and just make sure that I clean that third stalk. And then the last bit on the steering column obviously is the underside. So we've got that just sitting ready here. So that's going to come up and hopefully what we can rely on is just these clips coming in to these points here where it's going to clip in here just to hold it steady so that we can then get the screws back in. So I'm just going to offer this up. Don't forget that over this side we've got kind of this last bit of kind of uh, leatherette stuff. So we're going to offer that bit in first, just push it in over the top there and then aligning it up relatively obvious just where it lines up with the keyhole just checking over the other side at the same time as well because it needs to line up with the cruise control piece that comes up nicely just as it's then that point ready to go in just going to check on the other side again looks pretty good so I'm just going to try and squeeze it up and click it in and then one last clip just there there we go. Okay, so that's now all clips back together. So now I think we've just got these four fixings to get back in. There's the two right underneath here, and then the two in, where is it, this point here, that we just need to make sure that we get back in. Okay, great. So those four fixings have gone back in nicely, really quite tight in there. So this is all fixed in really nicely, so I'm well happy with that. And then what I'm going to do now is obviously just look at getting in this main panel piece here. We've got the whole fascia bit and then the bit on the other side. So just as we did in the previous video as well, this is just going to come in. Watch in to line up, obviously, what we've got around here. I found before lifting that vent up, just makes it a little bit easier. And then the one just over on the other side, I'll get that on now. And then the only last piece of paneling to go on is just this bit that exposes the OBD port. But what I think we're going to do first before I do that is just turn the ignition on, start the engine, make sure we've not got any faults up on the dashboard. So if we need to clear any errors, we can connect the laptop now and get those cleared. Okay, so we've all the doors closed, everything's closed. The keys are in the ignition, ready to go. We'll just turn the ignition on. That's a good start straight away. Stereo's on, so we'll turn that off. We can see that we've got, if I zoom in a bit, we're going to need to reset the date. That's not a problem. If I start the engine, starting just fine. So out of curiosity, I thought I'd just connect the laptop to it anyway, just to see if it threw up any faults. And as we can see, as expected, we've just got on the dashboard uh, a B-can line intermittent fault. So obviously that's where it's been. Uh, disconnected with disconnected disconnected rather the dash so i'm just going to go down to clear errors here if i can find the mouse wherever it is there it is hit clear errors clearing them yes there we go all done and dusted no fault codes no fault fault codes rather so now we're back to normal so we've got those errors cleared off of that no errors so it's just a case of resetting the date on that unit so we'll do that obviously using these buttons here which we can do now just to make sure that that unit is working as well, which it is, that's all good and fine. So I'll just run through, change the date and time on this, make sure everything's all good. And then I can put this last panel back on and then that should be us done. Okay, brilliant. So I've reset the date and that's all back fine. No error messages whatsoever. We put that last bit of paneling back on there. Everything's running perfectly. So that's it. So there we go. How to remove and refit that leatherette piece if you need to remove it or yours is broken or torn or ripped for some strange reason. If you found that useful, you know, as always, say, give us a like down below. Really appreciate it. If you haven't done so yet, obviously give us a subscribe coming up here now. Really appreciate your time. Really appreciate every subscriber. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.